All right. So now in this lecture, we are going to talk about pentose phosphate pathway. In this series of lectures, we are discussing about uh, different complicated topics with mnemonics and tricks. In this particular lecture from Shomu's Biology, we will be discussing about uh, the different enzymes of uh, pentose phosphate pathway. Particularly, uh, the pentose phosphate pathway is divided into two different sections. Uh, one is the uh, oxidative phase, another one is a non-oxidative phase. So we'll be seeing what are the enzymes of non-oxidative phase, what are the enzymes of the oxidative phase, and we'll also see the products of the pentose phosphate pathway, the major products that are related to the pentose phosphate pathway. So let's begin. And uh, I want you to focus on this particular image uh, where you can see uh, that some people are playing piano uh, inside a dark room. So there's a dark room and there's a piano and people are playing. One of them are playing the piano, others are listening to that song. So we move on and uh, that's what we are going to remember. Great people play piano and sing the song. This is the mnemonic for you. This is the sentence that you need to remember in order to get it. Great people play piano and sing the song. Okay, I'll rearrange this uh, sentence again. Great people play, play piano and sing the song. You see that all of them, the starting point is uh, all are capital letters. So they, that signifies that G, P, 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 A, S, T. They start with the name of the enzymes. So what are the enzymes we are talking about? First is the G for glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. This is the very first enzyme. Second enzyme here is P, 6 phosphogluconolactonase because the substrate is 6 phosphogluconolactone and the enzyme is 6 phosphogluconolactonase. Then comes another P, the second P, P from play. So that is 6 phosphogluconate dehydrogenase. So first a dehydrogenase, the lactonase, then again dehydrogenase. Then comes A. So three P's are out there actually. Uh, people play piano. Third one is a piano, P for from piano. P is phosphopentose isomerase. So again, phosphopentose isomerase. Dehydrogenase, lactonase, dehydrogenase, isomerase. This is how it's going on. And there are three P's, remember. Great, start with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Then P, 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 three P's are listed. Then comes A, right? And what will be A? Aldolase, okay? Aldolase is the enzyme. Then comes S. S is sedoheptulase dehydrogenase sedoheptulase dehydrogenase the substrate here is sedoheptulose okay which is a sugar then comes t t from the t transketolase so basically these enzymes are the one that transketolase transaldolase the job of this enzyme is to rearrange the structure of uh, carbohydrates okay and that is the job of the pentose phosphate pathway is uh, to shuffle between different now form of sugar 5 carbon sugar 6 carbon sugar 7 carbon sugar 3 carbon sugar 4 carbon sugar all this type of carbon sugars can be produced from the pentose phosphate pathway okay that is the beauty of pentose phosphate pathway because it can give rise to different varieties of sugar plus it can regenerate NAD uh, that that is required NAD is that is required for the process of cellular dehydrogenase I mean basically uh, dehydrogenase enzymatic reactions so this is these are all enzymes for oxidative phases now we are going to move and talk about the enzymes involved in the non oxidative phases so the enzymes involved in oxidative phase is done now we are going to see enzymes involved in non oxidative phases of the same pentose phosphate pathway okay so for that i want you to uh, check this particular image this image is when uh, there's a camera and there are some people so one of them is taking a photo of the rest of the group so this is uh, where people are taking photographs so basically you what you need to remember is take the photo of for all take the photo for all if you remember this take the photo for all you'll know uh, and you can easily write down the name of all the enzymes involved in the process of non oxidative phases of pentose phosphate pathway so i'll rearrange it take the photo for all but for is modified to phor4 in this case only that's the difference rest of them are fine take the photo for all so every single starting of the word is of capital letter take the photo for so ttppa the name of the enzymes will begin with this alphabets first one t transketolase 
second one another t from d transaldolase the third one starting with p phosphopentose isomerase got it the fourth one again another p for phosphopentose isomerase so the difference between these two p is that the first one is phosphopentose isomerase ph second ph is for phosphopentose ap merase okay that's the difference between the two p and then last is with a all a aldolase that's how the process is done transketolase transaldolase phosphopentose isomerase phosphopentose ap merase aldolase okay so this is how you need to remember okay quite easy take the photo for all but for will be changed to ph or for that's how we uh, understand now the last thing that i want you to know is the products of pentose phosphate pathway what are the products of pentose phosphate pathway you can easily remember that and you can remember that by this particular image where a computer is burning smoke is coming out of it so it's basically heated pc that's what i want uh, you to remember heated pc and i can rearrange with capital h capital t and capital p and capital c four different parts of it four different important components we'll be discussing here the first one is heated this particular term where we have h e and we have t e right so h e is uh, for hexose monophosphate shunt the pentose phosphate pathway this is actually known as the hexose monophosphate shunt and the second thing is regarding uh, what it produces it produces t e d so d n a d p h molecule that it produces two n a d p h molecule uh, that it produces uh, with this hexose monophosphate shunt what else we have we have p and c p for production of pentose phosphate sugars pentose sugars like ribose 5 phosphate ribulose 5 phosphate so those five carbon sugars are produced pentose carbon pentose phosphate sugars are produced so that is for p and for c carbon dioxide is lost carbon dioxide is utilized carbon dioxide is lost so these are the components that are going in and out of this pentose phosphate pathway that's how easy it is to remember the enzymes involved in pentose phosphate pathway and what it essentially does to the cell as an overview i believe you have a clear understanding of pentose phosphate pathway or hexose monophosphate shunt if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future and if you want to see more of this trick videos i have a series of lectures you can watch it out thank you bye